Welcome, everybody in Las Vegas. Thank you. The 50th anniversary, Bob. I'm pumped. I don't know about you, but I'm totally pumped. You look about you guys. I'm not even competing. I'm pumped. I don't know about you, but it looks like uh, looks like Dennis to be the 18th competitor here. Dennis, as you can hear, the fans are ready to rock and roll. We're going to get right into this, and we're going to start this thing off right. Dennis, I'm going to give you the first question, brother. I'm going to go right to Phil. Speak to the champ. Phil, three-time Miss Olympia, you come in here, you get your fourth title. We had a conversation last year at this very same time on this stage about a guy that's coming to defeat you. Who signed the poster last year as the 2013 Mr. Olympia. Now, yesterday, Mr. Green signed the poster again with the 2014 Mr. Olympia. What is going to be taken up? Just like I said last year, you know, I'll be able to write that four time on Sunday. And it's going to be really good. It's going to feel real nice. Retired. Who's that? Oh, Mr. George Farrell. Oh, gosh. Speak this, up. This guy? This, um, enough trash talk. I mean, we've done our talk and we've earned three Sandals. I mean, to your zero, George. So, I mean, you need to just sit back, relax, and uh, let, let the Sandals talk, man. Get out of here. Hey, how's it going? All right. Ty Green, the predator. You heard the champ speak. Phil, he feels disrespected. You have desecrated the title of Olympia champion by writing it in advance. Did you not learn your lesson from last year, Kai? Wow. This is wonderful. Thank you, everyone, for coming out and supporting us today. This is really, 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 really big. Um, this is an amazing weekend we have in store for you all because we're going to show you how talk is so cheap. It's so cheap. The past is the past. And we need to respect what was done in the past because it's already been written. But the truth is, the future, the future is what we have this weekend. This weekend, we will show you what the future brings. Now, all these guys have earned their right to challenge for that title. Kai, I'm going to tell you something, man. Look at small next to that wolf! You haven't earned a point, a point, in four and a half years. Phil, I, I got to ask, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. People keep talking to trash talk. Is it trash talk when you're throwing facts out there? You said he hasn't gotten the point off of you in four years. You're Ezo in three, you know, and all this stuff. Is that trash talk or is that just speaking the truth? I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, I mean, facts are the facts. And, um, you know, I like to speak truth. And the truth is, is that I've won the last three years. Ty, I'm looking for some facts here. He wants to talk facts. Trash is done. We're not going to talk trash. We're going to talk facts. Give me three facts as to why you will be. do it. Will he on Saturday night? You just gave him a chance and he started wow. rambling on. You can't turn it into rubbing again. Come on, Ty, give me three. Here we go. Fact one, you outweigh him by 40 pounds. Fact two, you do what? Fact three, it's all over from the rear. And that's just it. That's how it's going to be. How about that? Is that three, Phil? There's three facts, Phil. Well, Phil, give me three facts as to why Kai can't beat you on stage. 2011, 2012, 2013. Those are facts. Facts, I gotta say, that's... Well, I don't know about you, D, but... I think all the fans in here can only agree on one thing, and it's not who's going to win, and it's not who's going to be crowned as the champ, it's not going to be whether Kai can do whatever he said he's going to do, it's not going to be whether Phil can make it a four-peat, that's a word, but it's going to be that we will have the greatest Olympia 
in the history of the Olympia, celebrating Junior's 50th right here in the Olympia.